Hi there everyone, Guardian E here with another news update video for Azure Lane. We've got an incoming maintenance scheduled for November 9th, wherein we'll be saying goodbye to the Fight On Royal Maids Part 3 and the Paired Halloween Hijinks event. So we'll cover what we currently know about the upcoming update, as well as some upcoming figure news, and then wrap up the current event with some daily pulls and reward redemptions. I will just briefly remind you that if you do enjoy the content that we put out, including Azure Lane videos, and you would like to support the channel, please consider subscribing, leaving a like down below, leaving a comment, really, really does help us out. And with that, let's get into things. So as Halloween Hijinks leaves, we will be getting a rerun of the Inverted Orthont event, featuring the SR Peter Strasser, Prince Heinrich, and U-37. The first two here are banner only. The submarine will be available as a map drop and in the event shop, so do not pull for her specifically, since she has that abysmal 0.5% rate, since you can get her guaranteed. Now, on the elite front, you've got Nuremberg, you've got Wesser, Z24, and Z28 all coming back. The first two are going to be available in the banner at the standard 2.5% rate up. Z24 is a point accumulation reward only, and Z28 will presumably be a reward for the Summer Food Festival minigame. I think that's probably going to be coming back alongside the Averted Orthon as well. Now, notable equipment map drops include the Quad Homing Torpedoes, 203SK, turret, and the gold sub G7E homing torps. Uh, each of them drop on different maps, so pay attention to which one you're grinding if you do want to get more blueprints for each of those. Now, with the light rerun structure, I do anticipate the event will last for one week, seven days, and we will get around like 25 to 30 free pull tickets for the rate up banner. I would strongly, strongly recommend to not blow through all of those tickets immediately. Use them on your daily pulls each day, splurge at the very end, a few days close to the end of the event if you're missing anyone. Bear in mind, we do have that Atelier Ryza collab coming sometime this year. Uh, we've got one final UR scheduled by the end of the year, so there is stuff incoming that could warrant uh, saving some cubes. Now in figure news, Unicorn's Netteroid from Good Smile Company Shanghai is currently up for pre-order at Good Smile Company's shop. Uh, featuring both a regular and deluxe version that includes her rigging. So she's currently scheduled for an April 2023 release. I will have links to Good Small Company's store down below in the description and the comments. And pre-orders will go live tomorrow on the 8th of November for the much-anticipated Alter 1-7 scale for Otago and Takao in their Race Queen skins. Now, rather than going for their default in-game poses, which Mime Yoi is producing figures uh, that will uh, represent them in those default poses at one-fourth scale that have yet to go up for pre-order or even been shown for uh, promotional images or anything, uh, Alter went for a completely new inspired composition featuring standing positions and a suggestive combined pose together. Now, it was a big mystery up to this point as to how they were going to offer the girls separately, considering that how they're you know, pressed up provocatively and intimately in the promotional photos. So we were all hoping there'd be an option for swappable chest pieces similar to Azuma. Seems like that's not the case, unfortunately. Uh, they're going to be selling the sisters ducked together uh, with a manju in between as a completely separate set. So that is going to be available for pre-order. And then they're also going to uh, offer for pre-order the girls individually without the chest press at all. So you sort of have to pick your variant of choice, you know, either getting the girls individually or as a combined set stuck in that pose. The combined set also features different expressions where both girls have winky faces, the solo figures will have more neutral expressions. I mean, all of the variations look undeniably spectacular, there's no question there. I really wish there had been a way to swap parts for more versatility here because there's there's really no way to get every combination unless you buy multiple of the same figure, which is, which is kind of a shame. Um, that said, I know I'll be picking up at least one version and variation of these. Uh, they're definitely worth it, so an alter it basically consistently knocks it out of the park uh, with their Azure Lane line. So once again, pre-orders will go live tomorrow. I will update the comments and description below with affiliate links to Hobby Link Japan once those go live, uh, if you would like to pre-order and support the channel. Uh, but naturally, they are also available at all of the standard figure import retailers, such as AmiAmi.com, Hobby Search, Tokyo Otaku Mode, uh, right stuff, all that good stuff. Um, so that, that basically wraps things up. I know people have been waiting for the Inverted Orthon event, and, and for good reason. Peter Strasser it looks amazing. Prince Heinrich is a fan favorite and well-deserved at that. Her design is absolutely spectacular. 
I'll be doing my early ticket pulls in a video a few days into the event, so if you are interested in seeing how those go, uh, hopefully getting some additional copies of Prince Heinrich, uh, you can subscribe below to get notified of that. All right, well, let us, let's go ahead and wrap up the current event. Daily's time. Let's get through these event pulls each day. And uh, hopefully we can get another Albion. That's really what I'm kind of looking for as far as any potential event ships. I'd like to get an extra copy just to have one. Ooh, okay. Going to get a Chaser. Non-event Elite. Norfolk. And Yorktown. Wow. Wow, okay. That was That's about as dry as it comes, unfortunately. And we're going to do one last temple before we say goodbye to the event as a whole. Use our quick finishers and see what we get. I, I honestly can't expect too much considering how amazing the pulls were on day one. But we are going to get another Albion. Absolutely exquisite. She looks glorious. So, uh, definitely happy to have another copy. Just if we get more skins down the line or something like that. I uh, always like to be prepared for those. So I'll keep her in tow. That is fantastic. Don't really need anything else. Couldn't really ask for anything else. Wow, a Shine Girl too. Okay. So a two gold multi, making up certainly for the last ten pull. And uh, <laughs> another, another non-event elite. All right. Hey, that's pretty good. I will definitely take that to the bank. No questions asked. Um, and then overall, as far as <laughs> her smile, very very cute. Um, so in terms of the overall event, uh, we've been grinding. Unfortunately, I've been really, really busy the past <laughs> week or so, so I, I'm really behind on my grinding, but I did get most of the rewards. I think we're probably going to, you know, at this point, we, we're just missing the last three. I would like the blueprints. That's really kind of what I need most. Um, actually, I may as well just collect all here. Uh, or keep collecting all, I guess. Yeah, so you can get some Sea Furies during this event. I mean, it's not critical. I would say it's not like a super critical uh, farming event in general. Sea Furies are just, I mean, they're nice to have, I guess. Um, you do get the Albion uh, equipment and you get some you know, some other stuff. Uh, blueprints as well, which are always, always really, really appreciated. So there's some, there's some nice stuff. It's worth grinding. I've got an excess of those bonus tickets. So like 31, so I've got to use them these, these past couple of days. So I'm going to, I have my work cut out for me. Uh, but at the very least, you know, we got most of the rewards and hopefully we can get the rest. We made short work, of course, of the actual raid, as most servers did, I'm sure. And naturally, as you saw, we did clear the Halloween hijinks. We got the Royal Fortune ship along with all of her new exclusive interesting gear. So I'm actually I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, the, the introduction of giving her kind of her own class of gear. It's, it's just, I, I think, just a cool nod in general that she kind of comes uh, packaged with all this cool stuff with her. Also, her event was, like, super cute. I really enjoyed the Halloween hijink story segments, so um, I think they do a good job on those. Um, but otherwise, yeah, pretty low-key event. Let me know in the comments below how your grind has gone and if you've gotten all the rewards, uh, how your pulls have gone. Hopefully you've, at this point, gotten everybody that you wanted. You've got a couple of days left, um, so you can splurge if, if you so choose to. Uh, again, I will just warn that there is a lot of stuff incoming before the year end, so just bear that in mind and, you know, use discretion. And let me know down below if you're excited for the incoming Inverted Orthont rerun. Uh, hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to leave us a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more Azure Lane content. We thank you all so much for watching, for taking time out of your day to spend with us. We really, really do appreciate it. And until next time, let's protect those waters.